Ice cream with brownie, sandwiches with mayo, and coffee with your favorite croissants are all delicious pairings. But for those with a sweet tooth, nothing beats peanut butter inside chocolate. Almost every American loves the classic combination of chocolate and peanut butter. So it's no surprise that in 2022, Reese's peanut butter cups outshined other candy giants like Kit Kats, M&Ms, and even its parent company's signature Hershey's chocolate bar in sales. But have you ever wondered how this humble venture, born in the basement of the most successful chocolate brand, rose to such heights, pulling in $42 million peak revenue in 2022 alone? Well, we can't start talking about Reese's without mentioning Hershey. Hershey, founded by the chocolate enthusiast Milton Hershey, is America's candy king, claiming 24% of the market share, according to Statista. Their journey began in 1894 with the sale of cocoa powder in tins, but it soon ventured into crafting delightful treats, starting with a classic milk chocolate bar inspired by Swiss chocolatiers. But Milton S. Hershey did more than create a successful chocolate factory. He built an entire town to support his factory workers, which he named Hershey. This town, often referred to as the sweetest place on earth, was designed to provide a high quality of life for the employees of the chocolate factory. The town featured meticulously planned, affordable housing, modern amenities, and a free school system for workers' children. Hershey even provided recreational facilities, including the iconic Hershey Park, and ensured fair wages and profit sharing. The visionary approach paid off, as the Hershey company remains a giant in the chocolate industry. While they whipped up goodies like chocolate kisses, syrup, and Mr. Good Bar, they didn't create Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. They're actually the brainchild of a guy named Harry Burnett Reese, born on May 24, 1879, in Pennsylvania. He hailed from a big farming family, and believe it or not, had 16 kids of his own. Yep, you heard that right, 16. By 1903, he was juggling all sorts of jobs from butchering to factory work to make ends meet. Fast forward to 1917, Reese found an opportunity at a dairy farm owned by none other than Milton S. Hershey, the chocolate guru, right in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Little did he know, this job would change his destiny. After working on the farm and later in the chocolate factory, Reese got inspiration from Hershey himself, and he was off to create his very own chocolates. Initially, Reese saw his chocolate making as a side hustle to support his large family, using fresh ingredients including a ton of Hershey's chocolate. He started creating his confectionery in the basement of his Hershey-built home, naming them after his numerous kids. Things were going surprisingly well by the 1920s, so Reese decided to go all in and founded the H.B. Reese Candy Company. In 1928, he introduced his peanut butter cups, which he simply called Penny Cups, because you guessed it, they cost just one cent each. They were a massive hit, and Reese even managed to sell five pound boxes of these treats to local retailers for their candy displays. It's rather a bold move founding your own rival candy company within the brick and mortar of your competitor slash employer, but this move turned out to be a win-win, as Hershey supplied the chocolates for Reese's cups, and Reese became one of Hershey's top clients. The original HB Reese Candy Company was a 100,000 square foot factory built on Chocolate Avenue in Hershey, Pennsylvania, producing all sorts of sweets, from raisin clusters to chocolate-covered dates. However, during World War II, skyrocketing sugar prices prompted Reese to streamline his business, focusing solely on the beloved peanut butter cups. These cups continued to soar in popularity throughout the 1940s and 1950s, cementing their status as a household favorite. Unfortunately, in 1956, just days before his 77th birthday, H.B. Reese passed away from a sudden heart attack. Fast forward seven years and his six sons made the decision to sell the family business. Hershey's Chocolate Company, which had served as Reese's inspiration, acquired the H.B. Reese Candy Company in 1963 for $23.5 million. As part of the deal, H.B. Reese's children secured a 5% stake in Hershey, which today is worth about $1 billion, considering Hershey's current valuation at $20 billion. This strategic move gave Reese's access to Hershey's vast resources and distribution network, propelling the brand's growth on a larger scale. Following the sale, Reese's quickly gained national recognition, and that year, the company reported record-breaking sales of $203 million, up from the previous year's $191 million, according to a Hershey's company annual report. Now, let's talk about the original peanut butter cups. Packed in vibrant orange wrappers, these delicious treats contained processed peanut butter encased in a disc-shaped milk chocolate shell with charming fluted edges. In 1976, Reese's introduced their first product extension, the Reese's Crunchy Peanut Butter Cups. Over the years, they expanded their lineup to include various offerings such as Reese's Pieces, 
peanut butter Easter eggs, Christmas trees, peanut butter baking bits, peanut butter in jars, peanut butter ice cream, and an array of flavors like dark chocolate, white chocolate, caramel, marshmallow, and hazelnut cream. They even ventured into the cereal aisle with peanut butter puff cereal. But their success wasn't just about expanding their product line, it was their knack for effective advertising that truly fueled their triumph. In fact, that's the secret source behind their remarkable journey. According to Brandweek, Hershey spent $33 million on advertising for all Reese's products in 1997, up from $22.6 million in 1996. But it's not just the big budget that matters, Reese's marketing campaigns are known for their creativity and humor. They often play on the product's uniqueness, like the slogans, there's no wrong way to eat a Reese's, and get lost in Reese's. Collaborations with popular events and pop culture have also kept the brand exciting. For example, in 1982, Reese's gained huge popularity when the lead character in the blockbuster movie E.T. used Reese's pieces to communicate with the movie's titular friendly alien. This led to memorable commercials in a sales surge of around 65 to 85 percent, making it a cultural phenomenon. But this is just one of the many examples of their creative marketing campaigns. In 1995, Hershey spent $9.5 million in an advertising campaign to promote Reese's Nut Rageous Candy Bar. In 1997, they invested $10 million in Reese's Crunchy Cookie Cups, along with 50 million coupons and 8 million free samples. Reese Sticks Wafer Bars also took off in 1998 through another creative campaign, The Crisp You Can't Resist. Reese Sticks became so popular that Hershey struggled to keep up with demand, leading to a boost in Hershey's earnings per share from $0.33 cents to $0.39 cents by June 1998. By the spring of 1999, they dominated the US chocolate industry with a 45% market share. In 2012, Reese's was the top candy in the US, with $2.6 billion in annual sales, as reported by Advertising Age and Euromonitor International. Thanks to the Hershey Company's global reach, Reese's products are now available in many countries beyond the US, where it all began. The Hershey Company has played a significant role in Reese's journey. They've helped make it available to people all around the world. But that's not all. The Hershey Company, in addition to making scrumptious candy, is also dedicated to sustainability and social responsibility, which is something consumers appreciate these days. They've already reduced aluminium use in packaging by 10%, according to their website. They have developed comprehensive labeling guidelines for consumer packaging, fostering recycling and playing a crucial role in the reduction of greenhouse gas emissions. Furthermore, they have been part of the Roundtable on Sustainable Palm Oil RSPO, since 2011, and maintains their commitment to source 100% responsibly grown palm oil that is physically certified by RSPO and is 100% traceable to the mill. When it comes to sweet success, the Hershey Company has an impressive track record. They own six of the top 10 confectionery brands, including Reese's, Hershey's, Kit Kat, Icebreakers, Hershey Kisses. These core brands have been consistently profitable, with Reese's and Kit Kat showing growth year over year. In fact, Forbes reported that in the fourth quarter of 2019, Reese's and Kit Kat grew by 6% and 2.3% respectively. And in 2019, Reese's accounted for over 47% of all seasonal sales in convenience stores in the United States. That's not all though. The company's global sales of licensed merchandise hit a whopping $1.6 billion in 2019, landing them at number 39 among 150 global companies, according to Licensed Global Magazine. But Reese's isn't just about candy anymore, it's become a whole world of food and merchandise, from ice cream and cereal to jewelry, clothing, and even Christmas ornaments. Thrillist even called it the mad wizard of peanut butter and chocolate. They ranked 62 Reese's products, with Reese's miniature eggs taking the top spot. And surprisingly, peanut butter cups snagging third place. Reese's has been diversifying its product line, offering all sorts of treats beyond the classic peanut butter cups. This not only gives us more choices, but also lets the brand reach different markets and occasions, making it even more popular. For example, it's a go-to candy for Halloween, with a 2019 poll by Monmouth University showing that 36% of Americans picked Reese's as their favorite Halloween candy. And in 2023, a survey found that 51% of respondents in the United States chose Reese's peanut butter eggs as their favorite Easter candy, according to Statista. Today, Reese's is right up there with M&Ms and Snickers as one of the most recognizable and beloved candy brands in the world. Its success isn't just because of H.B. Reese's genius and the creation of a treat that's won the hearts and taste buds of generations. It's also thanks to the influence of Hershey's. 
Now, there was a bit of a rumor in 2023 about Reese's switching from Hershey's chocolate to Nestle, all because of some alleged wokeness. But it turns out that the story was pure fiction, cooked up by a website called Patriot Party Press, which is all about parody and satire. A Hershey spokesperson set the record straight, confirming that Reese's has been part of Hershey since 1963, and that there are no plans to separate them anytime soon. Despite the occasional rumor, Reese's is riding high in the world of confectionery, pulling in a peak revenue of $42 million in 2022. And they're not slowing down. In January 2023, they introduced seven new frozen treat varieties and even launched plant-based chocolate bars for all the vegans out there. No doubt, Reese's is a brand that knows how to adapt and innovate, solidifying its spot as a beloved and influential part of our candy world. It all started in the basement of a determined entrepreneur, just trying to support his huge family. And and now it's one of the world's favorite chocolate treats. Sweet, right? If you've enjoyed this video, you'll love our video uncovering the dark secrets behind Nestle. There's nothing sweet about them.